What's up guys, today I'm gonna to tell you guys what are the top things to avoid when trying to build muscle. So first thing first, we're gonna talk about um, not getting enough sleep. So sleep is very important because that's when your body does the most recovering and recovering is essential for building that bus muscle back bigger and stronger. So you should never not get enough sleep, which you should at least get I'd recommend anywhere from seven to nine hours of sleep daily, and that will maximize your progress in the gym. <clears throat> sleep is very, very important. If you do not get sleep, then there is really uh, no point in training extremely hard. You may as well just uh, train very lightly and go do Zumba classes, because if you're not gonna recover, you're not gonna make mad gains like we want to. So next thing I'm gonna tell you guys about uh, building muscle is supplements. Supplements do not build you crazy amounts of muscle. They don't do anything too, too severely, but they can give you, you know, a 0.00.1% increase. And when you're gonna do this for a long time, that percentage could help you severely. So the only thing I recommend for, so the only thing I recommend for supplements is possibly protein. And the one thing I do really recommend is creatine. It is very cheap, creatine monohydrate, 20, 30 bucks for a big old case that will last you three to four months. So, and it gives you that extra edge to help you out. So I feel like other supplements, I mean, if you can afford them and you really feel like taking them, then yeah, uh, go ahead and spend your money. But most supplements aren't gonna be, you know, day and night difference. There's so many things on the market now that uh, are basically just trying to get your money and it's just not fair to a lot of people who don't know a lot of stuff about that because they're just getting scammed for the money for stuff that does minimal things, for stuff that really doesn't do a whole lot. So the next thing I'm gonna tell you guys to avoid when you're trying to build muscle is taking your cut too seriously. If you're losing rapid amount of weight really quickly, you're gonna lose a lot of your progress. And the main thing when cutting is you're trying to cut down so you can see your muscle, not cut down and lose all your gains. I mean, it is impossible that you're gonna lose all of your muscle just from doing one cut severely, but you should really, really think about how much weight you're gonna lose at once and take it at a slow incline down instead of you know straight down you should go instead of you know going all the way straight down and just trying to eat like a thousand calories a day when you normally eat three thousand you're gonna lose all your progress and that's honestly not what anyone wants they want to um, be able to cut and see all their progress so I I'd recommend for just an average person who doesn't have the money to get a trainer or anything just find a free uh, macro calculator and put it in you can even do it on my fitness pal and i'll show you exactly uh what you want if you want to lose 10 pounds and you just put that in there and it will tell you how much you should eat a day you can usually just go from there and uh, i mean adjust accordingly that is just a rough calculator that can help you out and help you get you know a rough guesstimate of how many calories you want so another thing um people find that they are working hard enough in the gym but Theoretically, they're not, and the people are training one body part a session, and that's not uh, beneficial, especially if you are a natural lifter. It, it doesn't do anything good. But training one body part a week is, I mean, there's a lot of science behind things, but if you're trying to get the most bang for your buck and you're gonna be working out for a long time and you wanna put on the most muscle you can, then you should definitely do a push-pull legs split. Um, there's several online you can figure out whatever works best for you whatever kind of routine you enjoy but you're gonna put on the most bang for your buck and in the end game and that's really what most people want is to gain as much muscle as possible so ultimately what I was trying to say is you don't want to train one muscle group a day you want to train multiple muscle groups in a day to maximize your uh, yearly potential because if you think about it, if you're training your chest once a week and you're hitting it extremely hard, you know, because that's usually what you do, usually you do like six or seven exercises just for your chest on one day, and then you don't train it for another seven days. But if you're doing a push-pull leg split, you know, you'd be training your chest two to three times in one week. So having that extra day or extra, uh, like extra two days throughout several years is gonna, you know, hitting your chest more often is gonna be breaking it down and building it up more often. So ultimately, that's what you want. So on to the next subject. So another thing 
uh, that you that I'm gonna just end the video off here is do really really take this into this is the number one thing and I'm saving it for the last because it is the biggest thing and how important this is is gonna determine your progress that you're gonna make so the thing is the last the last thing is is food so so food is the biggest thing when you're trying to build muscle so if you're avoiding food and you're not eating enough then you know you're not gonna make the progress that you want to make in the gym so I recommend like I said earlier you get a app like my fitness pal or go on Google and type in a free macro calculator and you get um, your macro set up so you can at least follow a general guideline you don't have to be crazy and track everything every day but at least get a rough guesstimate um, I personally do recommend to track every day or find like a meal plan that you can follow daily so you do get the proper amount of protein in um, so if you don't get the proper amount of protein in you're you can miss out on, on a lot of progress and if you're in it for the long haul you want to make as most the most progress you possibly can so really never neglect food food is 50% if not 60% of the whole uh, muscle gain food is one of the one of the biggest biggest things in my opinion and you never want to avoid getting the proper nutrition in while training so never neglect that so lastly I just want to thank you guys for watching this video uh, just has a few general things in there just try and avoid those kind of things and really uh, take an account that working out and having like a healthier lifestyle is a job in its own and if you want to get somewhere and you know succeed at it you're gonna have to work hard and remind yourself it doesn't come overnight which I mean everyone realizes once they get really into something that it takes a long time to do anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you guys in the next one uh, make sure to like comment subscribe and we'll see you next time